Good day, everyone. I am Oliver with Winnie Santiago from the FIT High University of Science and Technology, DSN, CC. So, for today's video, I'm going to perform the MC5 body guided learning session. For the learning objectives, at the end of this procedure, I am able to assess at least high risk with the use of specific methods and tools to address existing health needs. Formulate with the client a plan of care to address his problem of a brief harry spotter. Implement safe and quality learning intervention and perform the specific skills with confidence. The goal for this procedure is first to relieve discomfort due to bladder distension or to provide gradual good compression of this ended bladder. Number two, to assess the amount of residual urine in the bladder. Emptied and completely to obtain a sterile urine specimen. To empty the bladder completely prior to surgery. To facilitate accurate measurement of urinary output for critically ill clients whose output needs to be monitored orally. For the assessment, determine the most appropriate methods of categorization based on the purpose and the criteria specified and the other such as total amount of urinary to be removed or size of catheter to be used. To use a straight, catheter is the only at the one time urine specimen is needed. Amount of residual urine is being measured, or if temporal and from this compression, emptying of the bladder is required. To use as in dwelling, retention catheter if the bladder must remain empty. Intermittent catheterization is contraindicated or continuous urine measurement collection is needed. Assess the client overall condition. Determine if the client is able to participate and hold the skill during the procedure. And if the client can position to eye with a head relatively flat for female clients, determine if she can have knees bent and hips externally rotated. Determine the client last morning or was last cut at the right. If the catheterization is being performed because the client has been unable to voice, when possible, complete a bladder scan to assess the amount of urine present in the bladder. For the planning, allow adequate time to perform the catheterization, although the entire procedure can require as little as 15 minutes. Several courses of typical goods are cooked in a much longer period of time. If possible, it should not be performed just prior to after our meal. Some clients may feel uncomfortable being categorized by nurses of the opposite center. If this is just the case, obtain the client's permission. Also, consider whether the agency policy requires and courage having a person of the client same gender type for the procedure. For the equipment, air dot it are of the appropriate size. An extra calibration also be at hand. Catheterization kits are individual sterile items, such as sterile gloves, waterproof drapes, antiseptic solution, cleansing bowl, forceps, water soluble lubricant, urine receptable, specimen container. For indrawing and catheters, urine purified with sterile water in amount specified by catheter manufacturer. Collection bag and shielding. Apply to 10 ml Supercell Kylocaine Gel or water soluble lubricant for male urethral injection if agency permits. Clean gloves. Supplies for performing urinal cleansing, bath blanket, or sheet for visiting the client, adequate lighting, obtain a flashlight or lamp if necessary. For the implementation, try to perform the procedure into the self and verify the client's identity. Use the agent's protocol. Explain to your client what you're going to do, why it's the sign, and how she or he can cooperate. Perform hand hygiene and observe for appropriate infection control positions. Provide for client privacy. Place the client in appropriate position and grip all areas except the perineum. Female, the time will use flex, feet about two feet apart, and hip is slightly external rotated if possible. Establish adequate lighting stand on the client's right if you are right-handed, on the client's left if you are left-handed. If you see a collecting bag and it's not contained within the catheterization kit, open the drainage bucket and place the end of the shoulder within reach. 
an Asian Symbolic Hermit of Light Green Gloves and Inject Pentapix in ML of Kyla Kane Shaw into the Eureka of the male client. Wipe the underside of the pineal shaft to disturbate the gel of the urethra. Wait at least 5 minutes for the gel to take effect before you can in the catheter. Remove any scar glass. Perform hand hygiene. Open the catheterization kit, place waterproof drip under the bottom or back for the female or for any male without contaminating the center of the drip in your hand. Apply sterile gloves or unite your remaining supply. Saturate a cleansing bowl with the antiseptic solution. Open the lubricant package. Remove the specimen container of place near you with a lead loosely on top. Attach the perfume syringe to the lolly catheter inflammation hub. Apply intricipally to regard the presenting of the balloon. Lubricate the catheter 2 to 5. 2.5 to 5 cm, 1 to 2 inch. For females, 15 to 17.5 cm, 6 to 7 inch. For males, and the place it with the relish inside the collection relish. If the kind, place the fenestrate and drape over the perineum. Exposing the urinary meatus. Clean the meatus. Note, the non-dominant hand is considered contaminated when it touches the client's skin. For the women, use your non-dominant hand to separate the labia so that the metal is visible. Establish firm but gentle pressure on the labia. Last by septic, we make the tissue slippery but the labia must not be allowed to return over the cleanse meatus. So, location of the retinal meatus is the best identified during the cleansing process. Take up a cleansing bowl with a percept in your luminous hand and wipe on the side of the labia majora in an anterior posterior direction. If great clear that wiping the client does not contaminate this is sterile hand, use a new bowl for the opposite side. Repeat for the labia minora. Use the last bowl to cleanse directly over the mianus. Insert the catheter. Grasp the catheter firmly 5 to 7.5 cm to 3 inch. From the tip, ask the client to take a slow deep breath and insert the catheter as the client exhales. If light or resistance is expected as the catheter passes through the instant. If necessary, place the catheter on hold pressure on the catheter until the catheter relaxes. The catheter accidentally contacts the labia or leaks into the vagina, it is considered contaminated, and a new uh, catheter must be used. The contaminated catheter may be left in the vagina until the new catheter is inserted to help avoid mistaking the vaginal opening for the urethral meatus. Hold the catheter with the non dominant hand. For the new catheter, inflate the retention balloons with the desired volume. For an hydraulic catheter, inflate the retention balloon with a designated volume. Without releasing the catheter, hold the inflation valve between the two fingers of the non dominant hand while you attach the syringe. And inflate with your non dominant hand with the compliance of the system for immediately to draw the cell fluid and advance the catheter sizes and attempt to inflate the balloon again. Collect a urine specimen if needed. For state catheter, allow 20 to 30 ml to flow into the bottle without touching the catheter to the bottle. For enrolling catheter, they attach to a drainage bag. The specimen may be taken from the bag and the physician will time only. Allow the state catheter to continue draining into the urine receptacle. receptacle. If necessary, attach the drainage and the involving catheter to the collecting, tubing, and that. Examine and measure the urine. In some cases, only 750 to 1000 ml of the urine are able to drain from the bladder at one time. Check agency policy for further instruction if this should occur. Remove the state catheter when the urine flow stops. For involving catheter, here the catheter tubing to the tight 
the female clients are up or high or lower abdomen for the male clients with enough blood to allow sexual movement. While any remaining are kept by at a septic or lubricant from the perineal area. The place the fourth key in the natural area lake earlier. The third is the client that can part the most position. They drop the client on positioning and moving with the counter in the place. Discard all new supplies in the proper receptacle. Remove all discard gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Document the cut or safety procedure, including cut it or size and result in a client record using form of checklist supplemented by the narrative notes when appropriate. Uh, so, good morning, ma'am. I am Ella Grace Santiago from Reverend High University of Science and Technology, and I'll be your student nurse for today. Um, Miss Wanda Concierge, what's your name, ma'am? And your birthday? So, what only procedure ma'am I'm going to insert the cutting area in you and uh, oh yeah, you're not going to insert
for the evaluation that define the primary care provider of the catheter rotation results. Perform a detailed follow up based on the findings that the related from the expected or normal from the client. The late findings of previous assessment data is available. Teach the client how to prayer for the involving catheter. Arrange more fluid and provide a plot and other appropriate instructions. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.